it has some interesting features versus the other tools, but I, I don't find that either of those two things are super critical. I think the more critical thing that I found is giving it good a good prompt. And parts of my prompt are, hey, the human you're working with is stupid. So do things in really small chunks so the human can understand them. Because if you give me like a thousand lines of code, I cannot evaluate this and I'm going to reject it and we're going to be starting over again. So right. even if you have a change in, in your head uh, does something, I, I want it in 10, 10 line chunks and paint me a story. Because if I don't understand a story, I can't evaluate what you're doing. So I found working with it in that way makes it much less LLM dependent, right? I can throw in almost any LLM, even like a you know last generation one. And yeah because it's forcing it to work in a certain way, I tend to get better results. Um, and obviously like one of the things, maybe not so obvious, but um, the thing gets lost really easily. So, so once oh, yeah. you've built like a little bit of context and, and you've gone back and forth a few times, it is possible it's gone down a rabbit hole and, and you're never coming out of it, right? So with experience, you pick out when that's happened and it's not a human, you're not really murdering it, just hit new and start over again and give it new <laughs> instructions, take what you learned from the last iteration and, and you don't need to explain, sorry, where this is not working because this and this and this, just erase it and, and start right. over. Because a lot of people just end up wasting a lot of time just trying to correct it and explain things to them. And it's like, nope, it's it's the smartest, dumbest PhD intern you've ever had. Just start over. <laughs> my, my experience matches yours. And uh, I, I, too, uh, use Claude a lot for coding. I found that it's it's a good engine, although I've been working some with Grok lately. And I subscribe to those and others. And just to, to kind of bounce back and forth.